turn this shit on. I just be breaking the heart. Welcome to Fish and Grits. It's your host, John Blue, and we're here to talk about the one and only Draymond Green. The only thing Draymond Green is good at is fighting. As you can see, he got suspended for stepping on that guy's chest, and we already know what would have happened if that guy had a fought back. Draymond Green probably would have watched him. He watched Jordan Poole. We seen what he did to Jordan Poole. The man is a great fighter. But what I'm saying is he's an overrated basketball player. The assists are overrated. They're inflated. The, he doesn't get any points, and he's horrible at defense. There is someone we have never heard of before. No one knows his name. I'm shooting a pie right now, and I looked him up, and 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 I read his name, and I forgot about him already because no one knows this guy. And he's oh. Sabonis. Yeah, who is that guy? <laughs> Who's Sabonis? Sabonis. Yeah, who is that? See, you don't know. You don't even know. But his name is Sabonis. All right. Sabonis is Sabonis sub is tearing Draymond Green apart. All right, he can get some rebounds. But the point is, has he been averaging 20 points a game this season? He has? Yeah. All right, so that's a real big man. That's what we need out of Draymond Green. We need Draymond Green to produce when you're playing 30 minutes a game. What's the point in playing 30 minutes if you're only going to put up four points? You're a liability, especially if you can't play defense. I'm sorry. If you're not scoring on offense, you need to be locking up on defense. You just can't go out there and just be a, a, a body. A body, you get a couple of assists, and, and people think you're doing something because you passed the ball to Steph Curry. Everybody knows to pass the ball to Steph Curry. Let's fast forward. So, this is why they need to get rid of him. Because not only does he fight the other team and get suspended and get texts and cost them games, he fights his own teammates. It's really bad karma that Draymond Green is still on the team. The man isn't good, and he's knocking out other players on the team. What does he bring to the team? They won without him. They played great defense without him. He does not score. They don't need him to score. We have scores. We got Jordan Poole. We got, we got Steph Curry, the greatest player of all time. We got Klay Thompson. If anything, all Draymond Green is doing is hurting Steph Curry's legacy. Because for some reason, people don't give Steph Curry the credit of winning the championship last year without any all-stars on his team, without any quote-unquote superstars. Because let me, don't get me wrong, Klay Thompson is a bucket, but last year he wasn't the Klay Thompson that we used to see. All right? Andrew Wiggins was considered a bust before he joined the Warriors. Draymond Green averages five points a game and can't play any defense. Can you, you yeah, you can cut me off. What you got to say? Before, no, he was an all-star last year, but you know why he was an all-star? Steph Curry revitalized his career. He said Steph had no all-stars on his team. Okay, I did say that. I, all, right, all right, so he so he didn't have any superstars on his team. Let's put it that way. Because I'm going to go ahead and call it the Steph Curry effect. When you join Steph Curry, in some cases when you join LeBron, you look a lot better than what you actually are. All right? LeBron had Klay Thompson get a $100 million contract. We haven't heard, not Klay Thompson, but Tristan Thompson, the Kardashian. We haven't heard from him since. And what I'm saying is that if they lose again with Draymond and they prove that they can win without Draymond, this will be Draymond's green last year with the Warriors because they're not going to pay him a lot of money. And if Draymond Green has the balls to go anywhere else, then we're going to see his career come to an end. I'm telling y'all, Draymond is not that guy. Steph Curry is that guy. Sometimes you're on a winning team, you look better than what you are. If Draymond doesn't play this year, which I hope he does, I hope he doesn't play anymore. I hope he comes off the bench. He can be the Udonis Haslam of the Warriors. If he can play the role of the Udonis Haslam of the Warriors at age 32 instead of 40, I think Golden State can win the championship. And if and Steph Curry gets five rings, if Steph Curry gets five rings, I'm almost positive he will be able to win at least one more time before he retires. 
if Steph Curry gets six rings, will you consider him the greatest of all time? Will he at least be in consideration? Because let's talk about the Lakers. The Lakers had the best team, had the best record in the West after the All-Star break without LeBron James. That team is great without LeBron James. So if a team is great without LeBron, what are they with LeBron? They should be championship contenders. If they have one of the best teams without LeBron, they should be one of the, they should be arguably the best team with LeBron. The reason why I'm saying this is because we have seen Golden State without Steph Curry. Golden State without Steph Curry had the number one pick in the draft. Let me say it again. Golden State without Steph Curry had the number one pick in the draft. That's how bad they were. LeBron James in the 2023 Lakers without LeBron James after the All-Star break had the best record in the West. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. It's Fish and Grits Podcast. We out. That's it.